All right, and welcome. So this is a bit of a different video. I don't know how this will, will pan out, we'll see. It's like for the longest time in this channel, I've been like, I mean, I like making the videos, you know, making the videos is nice, but editing the videos is, is the hard part. I really dislike editing videos and I'm not good at them. I'm gonna technically avoid the speed shoes here because it's too hectic, it's just too much. I can't concentrate on the speed shoes and also talking at the same time. So yeah, generally, God damn it. Uh, I like making the videos, but I really, well, I'd like to go up here, can I? All right. So I like making the videos and watching myself after. It's like a kind of a, a diary, if you will. Not really. It's not really a diary because I'm not doing these every day, but, but you know, it's like something that you can watch yourself over time and see, hey, this is how I thought however many years ago and this is how I think now. It's a nice growth for you to see yourself. You don't do any videos, even if you don't want to publish them, that's fine. It's it's very nice when I go back to the videos on the channel when I was playing Mega Man X or whatever, 10 years ago or so, I don't know, it's been a lot, a lot of years. Oh, damn it, I got a speech here. But yeah, uh, it's been a while since I, I played those and I go back to those videos and it's it's nice to see, first myself, see myself younger, right? And secondly, uh, really think about how my life was back then and how it is now. It's it's a lot of a lot of growth in that time period. So yeah, if you don't, if you don't record videos of yourself, even if it's not for publishing, something I would I would recommend for sure. But yeah, so bottom line, I like making the videos and watching the videos myself after, but editing the videos is hard work. So, and you, you may have noticed this is the original version of Sonic 2, it's not the Origins version. I have the Origins version on Switch, but I was about to buy the, this game a second time just to record this video, so this will have to do. It's, it's fine, Wait, though we don't have the drop dash, it's okay. But yeah, what I, what I was saying, oh yeah, so recording videos, probably something you want to do if you haven't tried it yourself. But editing the videos is, is not really the funnest thing of the world, you know? So this, this song is so good, man. What the hell? And there are several videos that I've wanted to make for the longest time, but I didn't make those videos because I thought, hey, nobody's going to watch them because they're going to be unedited. And I hate editing the videos. And even if I edit the videos, they, they look like shit. And so this has blocked me for a long time. I'm mean, thinking, hey, I want to talk about this subject, but it's too much work. Like, it's too much work editing the video. I can't bring myself to do it. And, but lately, I've seen kind of a resurgence on, on the scene, on YouTube scene, if you will, of people just doing unedited videos, you know? They're just, like, sitting and talking about stuff and playing the game. I used to watch quite a lot of these back in the day. People do like using Minecraft for that. Oh, damn it, I fell. Oh, I had to come in here. Oh, hey, tactical. Though I didn't want the star, so there is that. Am I, am I trapped? Is this it? This is how my life ends? Okay, reload it. Um... So yeah, there, there were a lot of people that did these videos with, with Minecraft and they just talked about stuff and showed gameplay and I would be the first to say that Minecraft is like a much better game than Sonic for sure to, to do that. But well, what can I do? I love Sonic, man. It's it's my childhood. It's my favorite game of all time, Sonic 2 especially. And so for the first video on this, I could like not use Sonic 2 even though it's pretty much a, a, a hectic game to play and talk at the same time. I'll do my best up here. Hopefully it'll be enough. Is this jump? No, the jump is after this part. Yeah. So to the topic of this video. You've seen the title, right? So having kids, hang on, let me do. Let me do the jump, let's do the jump. There we go. Don't fall, nice. 
Man, I used to fall over there all the time you're doing, doing the water part. Now we don't have to do it. But yeah, having... Oh shit, I have tails, right? This guy's gonna kill me for sure. Oh, there he goes. So having kids, man. Hmm. Should you have kids? Well, obviously the title of the video is uh, resounding yes, right? Let me not get killed by toes here. Oop. There we go. Sometimes Tails hits Robotnik right as you're hitting him as well, and then like you, you fall, it's it's sad. So when I was younger, I used to work at a university. And there was a school worker of mine that he had, I think, three or four kids. And he was like really big into the whole kids stuff. Obviously, if you have like four kids, you 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 better like having them, right? And he would talk with me and this other friend I had at the time. Uh, this other friend didn't want to have kids and he was pretty adamant about it. And he would say, hey, you guys are missing out, man. You guys should have kids. It's, it's really good. And I wasn't really against having kids or anything. I, I, I was 23, I think, there, thereabouts. So I didn't really have much of an opinion on the whole thing. I was like, yeah, a bit early to think about this, you know? I just, just chill right now. I don't know if I even had a girlfriend at the time, so, you know, it's not something that I was really considering at that point. Well, there you go, a double, double whammy. But the more, it, uh, the older I got, and then I got my girlfriend that eventually became my wife, and several years passed since, and now I have two kids. And now I think back to that time, and all the times that I've had doubts if I wanted kids, if I should have kids. And you may be suspicious of me. Well, obviously, you say you want kids now, you have them, right? So why would you say otherwise and you're right you're absolutely right i am a, a biased uh, uh i have a biased uh, opinion right now because since i have kids i might as well recommend everyone having them right <laughs> i'm falling out but truthfully uh, there was one thing that i came uh, to the realization when i was deciding if i wanted to have kids even before i got married or anything damn man come on is that, have you ever thought that every single ancestor that you have that came before you had kids? It's, it's very interesting to think about things this way, when you, when you really sit down and think about it. It's like every single ancestor that you had, your grandparents, your parents, and everyone before them, they all had kids, which is why you're here right now, right? So if they didn't have kids, you wouldn't be here. And then, we're gonna listen to the music. Nope, we're not. And it, it seems almost selfish, you know, to, to come to this point and everybody before you did their best, so you're here today. And then, all of a sudden, you're like, man, this is, this is not my fight. I, I don't want to have kids. I don't have money to have kids or whatever. And so, yeah. And you know, the more I thought about that, I was, I was like, man, I don't have the right in terms of like, uh, he's gonna hit me? No. And this is why Sonic is probably not the best game for, for these dogs. But yeah, the more I thought about it, it's like, man, do I have the right to not have kids obviously you have the right like it's it's uh, an expression here it's you can do whatever you want obviously but like everybody that came before you had kids so why would you be the first one to not have them so that's something that stayed in my mind it's not like the ultimate consideration it's not like well this is the the end all be all of my argument everyone came that came before you had kids so you should have them like this would be a pretty shallow argument if that was it, right? And I would completely agree with you, if that was it. But there's more to that, of course. So, I mean, I, I absolutely love this background. Like, this background is so freaking good. Look, it looks just like a city, man. It looks just like a city. 
man. Can watch those lights all day. So um, uh, this is one aspect of my argument, which is everybody before you had kids, so you probably should at least weigh very highly if not having kids is really what you want to do, because hey, it's it's a big decision. But that's not all, of course. This is going to be obnoxious, isn't it? And there we are. <laughs> Uh, but what, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so having kids, of course. But as I had kids, man, uh, it's the little things. It's the things that you, you don't even know that are going to happen. And when you, you have these kids and they are with you and you're really learning every day. And then it's all worth it, man. Like, for example my uh, uh, obviously love video games like a lot of people I suppose and I don't want my kids to play too much on phones you know because games these days man like monetization and everything it's it's a, a difficult world out there I'm sure you understand if you're an older gamer like I am and so I really want them to have as much of a, a classic experience as possible. And so I have quite a few retro consoles. I have a Genesis, SNES, N64, and, and NES. And then I started showing these games to them and not really thinking if it would work at first. But then they really started liking the games, you know? And now it's not like they're pros or anything or that they won't play more modern stuff they definitely will my kid loves minecraft and my girl doesn't play as much yet but we'll see how that pans out but generally let me not get crushed here uh, it's it's really heartwarming to hey you show your kid i don't know mario 64 right a, a game that I would say I love, but I guess who doesn't love Mario 64, right? And then uh, they're really playing the game there, man, and you can just direct them, hey, go here, and then you, you try that, and then you just sit back and watch them play the game, and it's, it's just so magical, man. It's just so magical thinking, looking at that small version of yourself, and they're there, man. They're, they're just... Every day, they're learning something new. Every day, they're, they're doing something that they weren't yesterday. And yeah, it's it's quite something. But this is not the, the final leg of my argument, right? So there is the, the fact that your kids, they, they learn and they evolve so much and it's so rewarding for you to see it happen in front of your eyes every day. It is, it is an experience that I don't think you should rob yourself of having. Okay, let me micro focus here. Oh, this is not the hardest fight in the world. So yeah, there's the aspect of everybody had kids before you. There's the aspect of your kids learning and who knows, maybe wanting to do stuff that you yourself like. It's like you have these mini friends of yours. <laughs> That's a, a nice aspect as well. Uh... All right, there we go. And there was one final part of my argument. I'm trying to recall it. Once again, perhaps Sonic not the best game for this. Mm, oh, was it? Yeah, I should really write this down beforehand, right? I suppose, yeah. See, I, I don't want to edit the video now, but it seems like I'm, I'll have to because I can't remember. Let me keep on talking, it'll come back to me. I suppose I'm trying too hard to, to remember and also play the game at the same time, which can't help. But... Having kids, man.
Yeah, so, so I pause the game and I'll have to do some minor editing in terms of like cutting the part where I was passing out. But I finally remember the, the final leg, which is good that I pause, I suppose. Which is the, the economic situation, right? And this was uh, a very big thing for me talking about. Which is like, I, I understand people saying, hey, I, I, I want to have kids and you're right about these other things, but uh, economic situation is really hard, like I don't have a good job, or I I don't know how I'd feed my family if it happened, I can barely afford rent, and now you're talking about having kids, like are you crazy, man? And man, like I hear you, I, I do hear you, and it is it is hard to feed the family. And I'm not gonna like, tell you to be responsible or anything. Well, I kind of want a life now, if you ask. So close. This is the actual game, so there, um, but I guess I could use a safe state, but you know, if possible, I'd like to accumulate some lives here. Um, but yeah, the economic situation, everything, I, I, I hear you. But there is, is something quite strange that happened to every single parent I have ever seen and or talked in my life and that includes me which is you don't know how to be a parent bottom line you remember when you were a kid and then you would look up to all the adults that were around you like your grandparents your parents your teachers and then you think man these guys are grown-ups these guys they, they've got it all figured out man like they they know what you do right and that's really cool when you're a kid you know fuck all and then you have these really references that you can talk with and that you can interact with and you you start thinking well i i, I guess it depends on the adults you you interact with right so <laughs> i'm not going to generalize that too much because there are definitely adults that don't seem like they have everything figured out <laughs> That's for sure. But like for the, your average parent or for your average teacher or grandparent, for the most part, they they seem to have it all figured out. And as you're a kid, you, you look up to those people and think, well, man, I wanna, I wanna be like that someday. And as you grow up, you start to really realize that Man, I, I don't know shit, man. I thought I thought I would be on a better spot now, but I, I went to school and then I went to college and then I graduated. Hopefully that's the case. And now I'm trying to get a job or I got a job and I don't think I've got to figure it out, man. What's, what's going to happen tomorrow? How am I going to pay rent? How am I going to pay these bills, how am I gonna buy my car? And as you get older, the, the doubts, they change in nature, but they ultimately, they're all there, right? And let me not allow Tears to get me killed here. There you go. And I have the shield, and it's all good. And then you think, man, you come to the realization, uh, to me it was, uh, I was about, I think, 26, 27. I was like, man, uh, years go by and I, I don't know shit. Like, I, I don't have everything figured out. And then you start talking with the older people that were your references in the past. And you start to realize that they themselves don't have everything figured out either. You were just too young or too naive or you didn't have enough experience to realize that everybody's in the same boat, man. Everybody's in the same boat. And, uh, Everybody's just learning as they go along. And this is a very crucial argument for having kids because when you when you have your first kid or when you were thinking about having your first kid, you may think, man, I I can barely take care of myself. How the hell am I gonna take care of a kid? Man, are you kidding? I need your first I don't know, get X job or I need your first where is this gonna take me? I wonder. Oh, there is a, a little thingy here. There we go. The top path opens to us. I don't think I ever visited this top path too much, which is why I'm pretty tentative in my movement right now. 
But yeah, as you're trying to or thinking about having your first kid, you may have these doubts of like, I need to do X thing first before I can have a kid. Like, I need to have my own house before I have a kid. Or I need to make X amount of money per month before I have a kid. And don't get me wrong, having kids is expensive and I'm not here about to tell you, hey, if you, if you make, I don't know, 100 bucks a month, you make minimum wage, you can have five kids. That's not what I'm saying at all, all right? But at the same time, if you start to put all these requirements in your, in your head of, I need to have this job, or I need to have this amount of money, or I need to have these material things like this, this car, or this house, or this whatever, before I can have a kid, let me tell you, it's never gonna happen, man. It's never going to happen because there is always going to be one extra thing. There is always going to be, well, you make, I don't know, 50K a year right now. And they're like, man, if only I made 100K. And then when you make 100K, it's going to be like, well, if only I had my own house. And then if you, when you have your own house, it's like, well, oh, man, if only whatever. That's some slowdown. And you know, next thing that's going to happen, man, you're going to find out that you are, I don't know, four years old or something, right? And then maybe you still can have a kid, sure. And there are people that have kids and they're older and it can be done, of course. But you don't have the energy, you know? Like I had my kids when I was, what, 31? Let me think. Yeah, 31, 32, about that. And, well, obviously biased. But I think that's a good age in that you have the the experience and you have the mental stability to, I should have just spin dashed in, in place. Oh, there we go. Because I think there is some research on that. Don't quote me, but I've heard it on an Asmongo video or something like that, or some similar, that um, you, you have your mind fully formed in terms of decision making once you're 25, 26, 27. And I would definitely, in terms of personal experience, attach to that because your your maturity really improves as a man. I, I'm not a woman, so <laughs> as you can probably tell. So I can't, whoa, I'm gonna, whoa, I thought I was gonna die there. But as a man, man, come on. Your maturity really improves once you, you go past 25, 26 or so. Like, you, you really become more confident in yourself and your decisions and everything. And that's a really good trait to have once you have kids because you, you can start being, I wouldn't say a role model, but in a way, you, you always are a role model to your kids, right? But you can be someone steady to, to educate a child. So that really helps. But there's the energy aspect of it as well, because if you, you may say, hey, you're sure, but what if you were 40, wouldn't you be even more stable mentally then? And yes, but then you wouldn't have the energy, man. And like small kids, they take a, a massive amount of energy to to play and to really be around because they, they want to run and they want to, I don't know, yeah, they spin them, they should carry them around and have these kinds of, of physical playful things, especially as a man, especially if you have like a male kid, but obviously uh, girls are, are no exception to that. But the, the physical aspect is in terms of like little fights and that kind of stuff, you know, it's even more prevalent in boys. I had no idea this life was here, I guess, nice. And once you're 40, I mean, I'm not 40 yet. I am, how oh, old am I? I'm 36, yes. Uh, but I can already see that my energy levels are not the same as when I was uh, in my early 30s or when I was in my late 20s. And if I had a baby right now, I would be able to cope. But if I had a baby in say four years, it'd be hard. I did it hard. So there is like this optimal age for you to have a kid, you know, when you were, I would say 26 
to 35 let's it's not a hard rule right if you're if you're 37 and watching this video hey is it over for you of course not right of course not it's just like a, a general observation man the next i i'm already dreading metropolis man I, I know it's coming and i'm like fuck man why why did you sonic 2 in any case um <laughs> uh, so there's the monitor this is not gonna Oh, there you go. There's the monetary aspect that I said, and there's the energy aspect. And so, uh, stop putting these roadblocks in your mind. You know, if I need this much money, I need this much. Experience, whatever. Like, man, if you, if you have a partner and you are happy with them, uh, don't let time go by, man. Don't let time go by, because... It, it doesn't come back, you know? So yeah, uh, there was something else that I was gonna say about the, the monetary aspect of it, and hopefully you don't mind this rambly video. I mean, I guess this is what you signed up for, and this is what I signed up for when I booted up Sonic 2 and started talking, so I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. But you become a different person. Like, when you, when you first become a parent, it's, it's something that's pretty scary and like man i never had a kid by definition right and sort of like man i don't know how to be a parent what, what the fuck am i gonna do if if the baby baby starts like crying uh, then what uh, do i do i feed them are, are they hot should i give them a shower and you don't know jack shit man you you don't know you're just guessing but you know everybody's just guessing when they have their first kid nobody knows what the fuck they're doing and so you really get better and if you happen to have a second kid ah it was too off and now well i have a ring that's good there you go this that's what you get and then if you happen to have a second kid man on the second kid you're just you're set man you're like man i already know everything that's going on and so the second kid is so much easier than the first kid you wouldn't even know Everybody's just learning along, man, as they go. As in adulthood, when you had your teachers and your parents and your grandparents, and you thought, hey, they have everything figured out. And then you find out they really don't. By the same token, you don't, you may not know how to be a parent now, but you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn pretty fast, you're gonna, you're gonna have to learn. It's, it's gonna be out of necessity. And not only that, all the other aspects of like monetary and everything, you know, you you figure things out, man. That's that's bottom line. What I'm trying to say in this video is that you figure things out because you have to. If you are a good parent, that is, and I do believe most people obviously are inclined to be parents because otherwise we wouldn't have a society, right? <laughs> Uh, and like, assuming most people have the inclination to be parents, this is my premise here, I have to go down there. Fucking Metropolis, man. Ah, alright, okay, 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 okay. You, you will figure things out, you know? It's gonna be hard at first, and... Your kid's gonna cry in the middle of the night, and you're gonna be like, what the hell did I get myself into, man? I was... They had such an easy life, I could just play video games, it could stay up until whatever time I wanted. And my job, where I made X amount of money, was more than enough to feed myself and perhaps your wife, if you, you're married and living together and etc. And now I had a kid and now I need to make more money because... What the... Hang on. Alright, yeah. I, I, I recall this part somewhat but not perfectly and now i have a kid and now i dang i had to hit the the screw up there okay this is gonna be the the long run upward and now i had this kid and now i have to do a bunch of stuff and you know you're gonna feel like that you, you really are and it's okay it's okay, everybody does. 
it's okay everybody does that's that's bottom line what i'm telling you in this video is everybody in terms of kids they're gonna feel like they're not ready everybody's gonna feel like they need more money everybody's gonna feel like they need more time that is really the crux of it you know you're never going to be fully ready you're never going to be fully prepared you're never gonna have the amount of money that you think you should have and that's okay and I am Best Metropolis one. There we go. <laughs> I guess that's enough rambling, right? That's 30 minutes of video. I kind of... Well, there's not really a gameplay video. So... I halfway want to finish the video and beat Sonic 2 if I can. But at the same time, this is a video on why I should have kids, right? And I think I have made my argument at this point, so... Yeah, I, I can't think of anything else. Well, line man, it's okay. It's okay. You you can be. You can be uneasy. You can be insecure. It's fine. Everybody was at some point, but maybe this is the last part I want to talk. Is that you? You have to think of the consequences as well because. It may be all well, all and, and I'm not old enough to, to have the perspective on on this just yet. So maybe when I'm 60, maybe when I'm 50, I'll think differently. I highly doubt it, but I for sure have more perspective than I have right now. But what I'm going to say is that I don't think I have ever talked with a parent where they were actively... They regretted having their kids, you know? I mean, maybe if your kid is a criminal or something. I, I don't know. Like, I'm not overly generalizing, right? It's not like this one true rule that I'm, I'm pontificating over here that nobody ever was, uh, let's say, they regretted having kids. I'm sure someone, sometime did regret it right but for the most part people the majority of people don't regret it right however i can easily see how someone older would be regretting not having a kid you know because it's something that you can't substitute for anything else it's not like you making a trip abroad it's not like you getting a new car. It's not like you getting your dream house. None of that is gonna substitute the feeling of having someone that you can that you can raise and that should be your family. And there is some social part of the argument, I suppose, that people can will say, "Ah, oh, there is too many people in the world already. Oh, I don't want to contribute to global warming. I don't, you know." There is that the vein of argument, you, you know what I'm talking about, which is like, well, isn't there a life down there? I do recall there being a life down there. Aha, my memory doesn't fail me. I suddenly found more stuff to talk about, what do you know? Uh, so there is the social argument that you could make, which is like, well, there is too much people in the world already, so... Um, it wouldn't be right for me to have kids, you know, because the world is too, too crowded as it is a man. That's just, just BS, let me tell you. That is just some grade A bullshit. Like, is there too many people in the world? Maybe. Yes. Is your personal decision of not having a kid gonna have any meaningful impact on that? No. Like if you and millions or perhaps billions of other people around the world had that same idea and everybody decided to not have kids, 
then maybe you could have some impact on carbon footprint or whatever but let me tell you man as a father of two children uh, the carbon footprint is is not something in my mind right now <laughs> people thinking well man i i don't know how i'm gonna leave my kids in this world because there's ai or there's I knew this crap is here, man. Or there is a job shortage, or there is global warming, and it would be cruel for me to to born them into this world that's so so bad, man. This is just a, a very negative outlook in the world, you know, in my opinion. Let's let's think of let's think about it this way. Would you rather not? Having born, you know, would you rather your parents have thought way back when? Yeah, the carbon footprint is too much, man. I'm, I'm not gonna have a kid, and now you wouldn't be here watching this video. Well, I guess not, right? And if you are, then well, you know, <laughs> some people may think like that, and I fell, and I knew that was gonna happen. But I would assume most people are happy that they're alive, right? I think that's a, a fair supposition to make. And for the majority of people that are happy that they're alive. You obviously are grateful that your parents had you in the first place. And so I am sure that your kids will think the same, you know? When it is, I don't know, 20 years from now, and they're there watching some other person rambling on YouTube. If there is any YouTube, this guy's gonna hit me, isn't he? Jokes on you, there's a shield right here. Ha 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 They're gonna be grateful that they're they're alive, man. You know? Just as you're grateful right now. You know? So Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. You know, that's all I say. Uh, yeah, I think I've run out of, sub uh, of things to talk about, but I'm gonna fall. Oh, it's it's later, right? Yeah, it's later. It's later. It's... Yeah, it is Metropolis 3, right? I know there is like a, a gap before Robotnik where you have to ride platform. I just don't know where it is. But yeah, bottom line, I think I'm out of, officially out of stuff to talk about in this kid situation, man. Yeah, I mean, I can I can tell some stories. I like racing a lot, as you may be able to tell from the some of the videos in the channel. And I have this racing sim that I built for myself, where I play iRacing. racing, and I have a very nice nice wheel uh, of ERS, uh, the DD, and whatever else. And there we go. Here it is. And I had my old Logitech G29, right? Where I used to play. And wasn't there a... This is the, the brute force boss, man. Come on, Tails. Do it. Do it. There we go, boy. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. There we go. Nice, the tails, the tail strats are too real, man. Tails, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, the ring. Okay, all good. Whew. And so I had the old G29 that I used to play with before I bought the, the sim. And I had been telling you to make it, but um, I'm gonna build a sim for you. And I saw this, this kid sim on, I think Reddit, where the guy built his kid, like, uh, with aluminum profiles. Oh, the perfect zone to talk about, you know. And he built the same to his kid with aluminum profiles and everything. It looked really good, posed with a PS5, if I recall correctly. And I thought, man, I wanna, I wanna build one of those for my kid as well. And I had been talking or, quote unquote, promising this to him for quite a while now. And I was like, when you when you turn five, I'm gonna I'm gonna build this for you. And he turned five in February now, and I, I bought the aluminum profile, just like the one I have, which is good in the sense that I can adapt it to when he he gets older, right? And it's 
It's like the same if you're an adult. And man, like just seeing him on the rig and, and driving and like just being happy, man, just, you know, accelerating the car and, and seeing it go, it was, it was the best feeling ever, man. It was better than having the rig for myself. There's some cliches that people say, it's like, oh, it's better to give out presents than to receive them. And I guess it depends, right? <laughs> I guess it depends. But in the case of of your children, that is absolutely 1000% true, man. There is no present that you can receive or give yourself that would be as good as just giving a present to your kid and seeing the happiness in, in their face, man. And it's something that if you don't have kids just yet, and hopefully this video obviously won't change your mind on that by itself, but it may be a part of it, hopefully. And you won't have the perspective right now. You won't fully grasp, well, he's exaggerating, he's exaggerating. It's, it's not like that. There is some presence that you can give yourself that are better, but you know, when you, you you tell me, man, you tell me. I I didn't jump. There you go. The first time I die in the game, and it's like this. Beautiful. There you go. But yeah, when you you have a kid, and then you give them a present, and then you come back here to this video, and you or don't, and then you think about this again. And yeah, you probably. Th you probably, I, I am certain that you see that I am right, because you think the same way. Now, obviously there are other reasons you may not have kids, like what if you don't have a partner? This is something that I haven't touched that at all so far. And obviously a very valid reason. I, mm, okay. I need it to hit it there. Now, if you don't have a partner, then it's, it's going to be kind of hard to, to have a kid, right? <laughs> I mean, you could try stealing one somewhere, but I wouldn't recommend it. But bearing that, that's a, that's a whole other topic, I suppose, you know? Like, I, I probably shouldn't go into the what if you don't have a partner talk because this is something else, a, a more a broader scope subject that would need its own video to be talked about. Now, see, I'm as, in, uh, as I am in the main fortress, man, I'm to be honest with you. There we go. The skip. I kind of want to beat the game now, but at the same time, I don't have stuff to talk about anymore. So, perhaps another point against putting a game that has a definite end is that wh what do I do now? Do I, do I end the video because I don't have stuff to talk about? Then you would be left hanging, ever, ever, forever thinking if I was able to beat Sonic 2. And I would, what? I would be left wondering as well. So, you know, let's do this. Seeing as this is the penultimate boss, I'll focus on the game now. Let's see how that goes. I fucking hate this boss, man. Yeah, there we go. That's all she wrote.
Oh, we can leave the rings there. That, that's a strategy, actually. Let's try doing that. Let's leave that ring right there. Let's see how that works. If I can... Well, you know, that didn't quite work as expected. <laughs> how many hits do I need? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's good. That's seven, is it? Only one more, perhaps? Yep. All right. Yeah. Here comes Tails. Well, in terms of next videos, I know I have been wanting to talk about quite a few things. And perhaps this format will be the, the thing that unlocks it for me, you know, that I don't have to add to the video, I don't have to think about too much, I just think, hey, I want to talk about this subject, and I just boot up a game and just go. And yeah, hopefully this works out. It's been quite a while since I... Oh, there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna edit out the, the, the death. So as you can see, I have three lives in there. I didn't use any continues, so... I think I started out on 11 or 12, right? So th those were the deaths you didn't see. I died, I think, three times to Metal Sonic. And then... Actually, Silver Sonic, right? And then the rest to Robotnik. But there we go. Now we get to see Tails firing up Tornado and picking us up to close out this video. So yeah, uh, new experiment for the channel. 
and hopefully you, you like this video as much as I like recording it. And all things aside, we played Sonic 2, right? So there is always that. And it's quite the game. <laughs> I can't not tear up when I see this this any a little bit. And yeah, as I think about everything I talked about, man, I know I like my my kids to have this feeling. Appreciate this game at least, right? Once. We'll see. My kids are not going to be copies of you, but they can have a little bit of you in them, that's for sure. Let's watch the credits, and once that's done, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.